word hallelujah means. Hallelujah means that we praise Yah. Or praise Yah. As in Jehovah or Yahweh. So think about all that he's been for you. Think about all that he's been to you. Think about all that he's kept you from. So it said praise Jehovah child. Praise Jehovah Nisi. Praise Jehovah Zippadu. Praise Jehovah Yahweh. Because he is who he is. And just because he does what he does. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our glory. He's worthy of our honor. Hallelujah. Because if he never does anything else. He's yet worthy. He's yet worthy. Hallelujah. We're talking about God that put the sun, the moon, and the stars in place. We're talking about God that made the oceans and the sea. We're talking about God that divided the waters from the sea that they never crossed. Hallelujah. I remember my mother and I went on a cruise. And that we watched as the fresh water and the salt water change. And there's a visible difference. You can see when the water goes from blue to green. But we serve a mighty and awesome God. But those waters never intertwine. The fish that dwell in the fresh water never have to worry about the salt water infiltrating their habitat. And the fish that dwell in the salt water never have to worry about the fresh water infiltrating their habitat. And so we as God's people, as long as we give God glory, as long as we give God honor, even though Satan might try to come and infiltrate our habitat, we serve a God that will lift up a standard against him. And he will be our battle, he will be our shield, he will be our buckler. That's why we say hallelujah. That's why we say thank you, Jesus. That's why we say, Lord, I love you.
Cubs and Capitals and Huskies. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For all the trouble that we've been in our way, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You renewed the vows for our sins. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, oh, we, we, and we, Lord, you kept us. And we thank you, God. Thank you. If it had not been for you, God, if it had not been for you all the time, Lord, we never would have made it. But thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. All things are possible. And God, we come to bless your name today. We come to bless your name today. Great is the Lord in great way. To be great. Wonderful Savior. That's why nobody's like you, God. That's why God, we praise you. That's why we give you glory, God. Yes, God, you are the Savior. Yes, God, you are the healer. Yes, God, you are the master and our Lord. Thank you, God. That's why we trust you, God. That's why we trust you. And there's nobody, nowhere, will ever be like you, God. You're the only wise God. The giver of wisdom, God. The God that knows everything. Thank you for my salvation. Thank you for my healing, God. Thank you for total deliverance. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Lord, we bless your name. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he's worthy to be free. He's worthy to be our Lord. Oh, God, nobody like that. Oh, God, thank you, my God. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad, because it is God who made us and not we ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When I think of the goodness, of the Lord and all he done for me with every healing, every sacrifice. Oh, my soul cries out. My soul cries out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's why nobody like it. That's why we praise it. That's why we give you the glory. Hallelujah. That's too worthy. That's too worthy. You're worthy to be praised. such a time as this. Lord, send your word today. Send a strong and a powerful word today. God, that will heal the intention of the people of God. God, that will turn our way, turn our hearts toward you. And God, we bless your name today, giving you all the glory, all the honor. Now, Father, we pray that you keep us in perfect peace. Keep us as only you can. Bless us as only you will. And God, we thank you. We pray that we give you the glory. That we give you the honor. It's in you, God, we live. In you, God, we trust. In you, God, we have our being. Again, God, we praise you. Again, God, we thank you. Again, God, we magnify you. Bless the Lord. All oh, our soul.
this is the day the Lord has made. Yes, it is. And we choose to rejoice yes, and to be glad. Yes, yes. And if you're, you, made it, you made it your mission to rejoice in the things of God. Yes, Listen, did you all enjoy Master Gina Vaughn? Yes.
Today in the fourth installment, you all of our lesson, I pray you all have been keeping up with us. And uh, if you have not, I encourage you either to go back on the stream or to secure yourself a CD or a DVD of this lesson. I believe it will bless your life. Because the word says that faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Which means there needs to be a continuum of hearing and hearing over and over again. And to the seed of the word takes root and takes a uh, root in our heart yes, sir. and begin to bring forth fruit. And today I want to talk to you to assure you that your destiny is in your hands. All right. All right. Come on, class, say, my destiny, my destiny is in my hands. hands. Tell the person by and say, your destiny, your destiny is in your hands. Your hands. Understand, family, our destiny, what happens to us in life, many 90% of the things that happen to us are literally in our hands. All right. For the most part, uh, in the, um, the year we live in, that no one can actually make you do what you don't want to do. All right. As a matter of fact, one of the sayings that I, uh, I, 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 I bank my head on is that since I've, I've aged another year, I say, you can't make me do what I don't want to do. And it's not because I'm a year older. As a matter of fact, to be told, that's been the way I've been for a long time. Because you can't make me do anything that I feel uncomfortable doing. And understand, listen, if God does not make us do anything, watch this now, neither can the devil. Somebody just say, I know that's right. And I, if, if, if you were around in the 60s and the 70s, we had a, a famous comedian who had a saying, said, the devil made me do it. But I come to realize that that was simply a saying of a man. Because when I read in the scripture, the only power the enemy has, watch this now, is he has the power of influence. And what he will do is oftentimes give us uh, information that will come against our thought process or what God has already downloaded in our spirit. Oh, yeah. And his job is to cause a reprogramming uh -huh. of how we think. All right. Let me see if I can make it make sense to you. On this laptop, there uh, it came with a program. Right. It came already preset with a program. Yes, sir. And because it wasn't giving me everything that I wanted on this laptop, I took it someplace and they put on here everything I needed. Yeah. Now watch this now, even though on this computer I have what's often called an anti-virus that I have right. on this computer, on, if I am not careful, on, and if I go to the wrong sites, my computer can get infected yeah. with a virus and then it will fail even though it was built to succeed. Yeah. Are you following me? What happens then, you all, in our lives, God has built all of us to succeed. God has built all of us to have success in every area of our lives. Here is the problem. We live in a fallen society. We live, you all, in a fallen world. And in this fallen world, we are getting information from everybody in every place. Yeah. Listen, we, we have folks who are always giving us downloads with stuff they really don't know nothing about. Right. Or maybe it's just the folks that I know. Any of y'all have folks who are always giving you their opinion just to look back over what they said and to realize they had no clue. What they, maybe it's the folks that I know had no clue as to what they were talking about. Yes. Which simply means that everybody's got an opinion. Yes. But as a born-again believer, my job being our job is to understand that if God is the master, oh if God, God is the one who is the, uh, if, if, if I can do it this way, he is, uh, what do you call those guys who are computer wizards? Computer wizards. A geek. A geek. If God is the master geek, <laughs> God has already programmed you to succeed. He said, I have given to every man the measure of faith. I've already placed in you, God says, everything you need that pertains to life and godliness. While on the other hand, the enemy says, if I can get over in their head, if I can read 
program them yeah, that I yeah, can yeah. influence you yeah. to choose my program come above on, this come program on, come on. that even though you've been built for success, come I can down. program you to fail. Yeah. 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 And I've realized I'm tired of falling. I know that's okay. right. I'm tired of falling. Always have to go, Lord, forgive me again. I'm tired of always having to wash some junk out of me. It's just me. I'm tired of having to always get stuff up out of my head. But understand, y'all, the enemy is after your mind. Yes, he is. He don't care how much you pray, how much you speak in tongues, how much Bible you read, when it's all said and done, he is still going to come in for the kill. He is still going to try to get his program, watch this now over in your head. Yes. But here's what I realized that even in my computer, that even if the antivirus don't catch it, uh -huh. yeah. All right. if I take it to the geek squad, Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. the geek squad has a way of going in and removing that virus, yeah. come on, and restoring my laptop back to the place it's supposed yeah. to be. Right. Which means then you and I, we have the word of God and it is the word of God that is designed, watch this, to reprogram us and put us back in the position right. where God desires us to succeed. Yes. Yes. Tell us say, I'm ready to succeed. Yes. Now understand, yes. if it's going to happen now, it's going to only happen as you and I allow our lives to be governed by the word of God. Yes. It's going to only happen as you and I allow the seed of the word of God to not just be planted. Come on now. Because if the seed of the word is only planted, and if we don't cultivate that seed, uh -huh. yeah. in other words, every time you hear the word of faith being preached, yeah. if you and I don't take that word and get a hold of that word, Come on yeah. now. the Bible said, after the word is sown of the green, Satan comes immediately yeah. to steal the word that's sown in your heart. Yeah. Let me give you the LDS version. As soon as you hear it, a thought will show up in yes, your head. Yes, pointing out an issue that he wanted us to fix and as soon as a thought came in your head you thought about somebody else yes. who God was trying to fix you yep. oh, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. because all of us think that God has talked to somebody else but when I understand then that my life is in the hand of the Lord and if God knows how to program my life then it is up to us it is up to you and I as individuals to make sure we open up our hearts to allow the seed of the word of God yeah. that once it is sown to be planted in our hearts, watch this now, that the word might bring forth fruit and begin to produce in our lives. Yeah. Right. Maybe I'm in the wrong church. How many of you all want the word to produce in your life? Yeah. Come on, class, say, Lord, Lord. let your word let your produce Lord. in me. Yeah. Come on, say, Lord, Lord. let your word let your produce Lord. in me. You all, if, if I were going to plant an apple orchard, uh -huh. if I were going to plant an apple orchard, mm -hmm. you can't plant an apple orchard, you all, by accident. Oh, no. All right, now. Let me see if I can make that make sense. An orchard is not just one tree no, no, or no. a seed that fell by accident. No, no, no. An orchard is something someone planted on purpose oh, with the intention yeah. of having many trees. Yeah. Watch this now. There are many of us in Christendom, we love the idea of having God give us success. Yeah. But we don't want to plant the seed of success in our hearts. Yeah. And then we question God as to why God isn't doing in our lives what he said he was doing. All right, All right. Now. But the enemy knows that if every time a seed is planted, if I can bring something up that will pull away that seed, yeah. watch this now, then the seed will never produce and watch this have an orchard in their lives. Right. Let me see if, 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 if I can say it like this. This morning, I was listening to a preacher, and he, he was talking about something that I thought I didn't need to hear. Okay. He was talking about uh, uh, walking in forgiveness uh -huh. and being quick to forgive and not to embrace the, the spirit of offense. All right. And so for an hour, I listened to him intently while I was getting dressed. And I thought, well, maybe that's for somebody else. And then before, but right before, the day, before the morning I started, I found myself getting offended. Uh -huh. 
Which means then the devil was trying to take what I just heard. Because he realized that if I get offended, then I off in the blessing God has waiting for my life. And many of us, what we allow ourselves to, we give the devil a portal in our lives to come in and take what God wanted us to receive. Understand, the seed of the word of God will grow because God called it to grow. Come on, so the, so, so the seed of the word will grow in my life because God calls it to grow. Look at Genesis chapter 8, look at verse 22. Genesis 8, verse 22. Look at what it says. God says, while the earth remaineth, now watch this now, while the earth remains, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and winter and summer and day and night, watch this now right here, shall not cease. Come on. Amen. Come on, class, they shall not cease. Which means then God said, as long as we are here, as long as the earth is here, these things will always be a part of your life. Which means then God says, there is no way around seed time and hearts. There is no way around cold and heat. There is no way around winter and summer. There is no way around day and night. God said, because I have placed a command upon the earth that these things must be. Yeah. But I want to deal with seed time and harvest. Yeah. Because watch this, just because we aren't aware yeah. of the seed that's being planted in our lives uh -huh. does not suggest a seed is not being planted. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Let me see if I, if I can make it make sense to you. Have you ever heard somebody say something or somebody even sing a song and after a while, you, I mean, time passed by and you found yourself repeating what you heard somebody say. You find yourself singing a song you heard a couple of days ago. This morning, I forgot what song I was singing this morning. Smile but smiling, smiling faces. Now, I ain't got a clue. Why the world, I open my eyes and I'm like, smiling faces. Sometimes. And I'm in a bed. I just woke up. It's 5.30. Uh -huh. Brian, it's 5.30 in the morning. My Lord. I ain't talked to Jesus yet. <laughs> I'm like smiling, fixing. Sometimes. I mean, I didn't say a car, but I'm preaching. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
spin. All right. And I don't care what happens, they can listen, they they let go of that atom bomb. And listen, even that major bomb didn't stop the earth from spinning. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. why? Because God said spin. Yeah. And everything, have you all ever looked at even in Lake Michigan, it may have raised its head, but it ain't coming out. Come on. All right. All right. Because God gave a command, it must stay where it is. Because God gave the command. Yes. And so everything God you all put in place has to remain in place because God said so. Yes. Which means that if God said that there is always going to be seed, time, and harvest, that I don't care what your life looks like, if you plant anything, it will bring forth fruit. Write right. this down if you will. What you give attention to uh -huh. will program your life. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Amen. I can go home now. I say everything I want to say. What you give attention to yes, will yes. program your life. Yes. I'm going to say it again. What you give attention to yes. will program your life. Yes, if yes, you yes. wonder why pornography is a billion dollar business, I heard on, on Friday night that pornography, you know, since the pandemic has gone up or, or, or over double what it was. Yeah. It was happening in the devil is reprogramming people's minds and their hearts and they're embracing a spirit of perversion. Uh -huh. All right. And you saying you're on your freaky side and the devil says, I got you. I'm expressing myself, and the devil said, no, that's a seed. I planted it because you gave your attention to it. All right, now. All right. But Pastor, how do I know if I've given it my attention? I'll tell you how you know, because you see, you want to you, you be around it all the time. All right. See, folks, I don't give, it to, I don't give my attention. I don't want to be with you that much. All right. right. I got to love you, but I don't want to hang around you. Y'all, 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 and then funny now. I know it's not me. Look at the person by and say, "Is that you too?" My Lord, come on, because there's there's some folk you love being around because you give them your attention. Listen, what woman? Want to have a man, your husband, he never gives you attention. All right now. I know that's right. In the morning you get up, he walk right by you. Come on, good morning, bang. Good morning, bang. I know that's right, Pastor. Come on, I'm going to give you a hands up. If you speak to him and he on his phone texting, he texting somebody else who got attention. I'm going to leave that alone. See, watch this. See, see, even an athlete, if you want to be an extraordinary athlete, watch this now. You can't just come off the street and come to the gym and compete even with an old Michael Jordan. All right. All right now. Because he had enough experience to beat the brakes off you even at almost six years old. Because he's giving attention to his skill and to what he does for a living. If you and I don't get attention the word of God, it can never reprogram our lives. And have you ever asked the question why? Because the devil made everything else important in our lives, but when it comes to the word of God, we find reasons how come we can't get in God's word. And what surprised me is that they poll over 2,000 Christians who go to church every Sunday and over 80% said, I don't read the word of God the way I'm supposed to. I would do a poll now, but some of y'all would tell a lying church. And I often wonder how many of God's children make it their habit to get in the word of God habitually every day to make sure that when the devil is trying to reprogram them, the word of God gives them a straight download from heaven. Amen. I'll tell you how come some of God's folks can't hear from God is because they never read the love letter. Yeah. Ooh, don't worry, don't worry. We're going to stop today. I, I, I want you to think. Because if you wonder how come I can't hear from God, I'll tell you why. Because you don't pick up what he says. And many times when we need an answer from God, we say, God, how come you aren't talking? He said, because I've already said everything. I got to stop. Come on, come on. You know, when I was... When the uh, lady son and I first got married, sometimes she would get on my other last nerve. <laughs> I 
I had two last nerves. Oh, okay. She did on one of them. I saved them for anybody else. <laughs> I did. Really tough. And so sometimes she would say, do X, Y, B. And I said, no, I say it all. I got to say it. Uh -huh. Which means was that I wasn't going to change what I thought about what I've already said. God said, the word that go forth out of my mouth, God said, I will not alter nor will I change the word that go forth out of my mouth. Uh -huh. In other words, God says, once I said it, it's a done deal. Uh -huh. If you don't like it, I ain't changing it. Uh -huh. And the word has told us, if we don't like what God says, we can change what God says. But I can't even bust your bubble. Uh -huh. I don't care if you don't ever like what God says. God ain't Our lives are defeated. How in the world can we have success? You don't get in God's word. You wonder why your marriage is failing? I'll tell you why. Because you didn't go get reprogrammed in the word of God. How come your business is failing? I'll tell you why. You didn't get reprogrammed in the word. How come you ain't got no friends? I'll tell you. You didn't get reprogrammed in the word. I'll tell you why you broke. You didn't get reprogrammed in the word. I'll tell Zechariah said, it's in him that I live. Yes, yes. It's in him that I move. Yeah. In him that I have my being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the rest, not by the opinion of other people. Yeah. Listen, I study God's word, but don't take my word for it. Go home and study it for yourself. Amen. I try to be as old and 100 as I can, but nobody knows all the Bible. Yeah. And God reveals to every generation a different level of Yes, and so listen, go home and study for yourself. Yeah. All right now. Yeah. But if you never go home and get into the word, how can God give you the message he wants to give you when you don't go chasing after him? God says, if you seek me, you will find me. Yeah. If you come after me, say, I'll show up. I'll meet you halfway. All I need for you is to do is come after me. Yes, yes. Sir. Somebody say, pursue God, pursue God, pursue God. Yeah. In Proverbs 4.20, Rather says, my son, attend yes. to my words. What is now? Incline yes. thy ear to my sayings. Yes, yes, yes. He says, my son, I want you to what's this now? give attention. Now, 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 now the, 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 I agree, that's powerful. Yes, sir. Yes. When God says give attention, uh -huh. God says make sure you ain't doing anything else. No. Come on now. But listen to me. How many know it kind of make you itch when you when you on the phone talking to folk and I, I mean they really ain't asking you back. All right, all right. <laughs> or they in your face, you you have a serious conversation and they text you. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. oh, I hate you. I hear you, Pastor. You know, it's like being it's like it's like preaching a sermon and the folks uh bring out a check. I'm like, why in the world are you looking down right out a check and I'm preaching? My Lord. You can't write a check and hear me. Well, Pastor, I hear what you're saying, but it ain't getting in. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Does that mean anybody ever black folks out? Yes, sir. Come on. Listen, you can yell and scream, I'll tune you right out. No, why? Because I didn't give attention to what you were saying. Yeah. Now, God says, when I speak, give attention to what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. God says, give me your undivided yeah. attention. Yeah. Why? Because, yeah. I, you know what? When I was growing up, Mama had a saying. She says, she says, follow the instructions. Yeah. Because it might one day save, save your life. Your life. Yes. Man. Heard it, Pastor. Guess what? I told my, my kids that. <laughs> told my grandkids that. I said, you better follow the instructions. I know, that's right. When yeah. this one come, I'm going to tell her the same thing. Little girl, <laughs> I ain't playing with your little sister. <laughs> better follow the instructions. <laughs> right. I'm telling the truth. To walk this, many times we get in the most trouble, not because of what we did, but because we could have avoided that, that, that trouble had we followed instructions. Amen. Amen. Man, I can't tell you how many life issues I had to face. Not because I didn't know better, but because I didn't incline my ear and give God's voice attention. All right. Because you cannot say God is not 
God talking, he's always talking to it. The question is, are you and God on the same frequency? That's real good, Pastor. And there's some of us who, who, who turn the channel. This morning in my car, Ella Malcolm, they were playing some, some music. I, I, I promise you, it sounded pathetic and sad. Yeah. It sounded like, it sounded like I, I was going to a funeral. Oh. Now, on the gospel station. Yeah. So I'm like, they started to say, yeah, it sounds kind of sad. I said, well, uh, let's turn the channel. Uh, we got to listen to this. I know it's up right. to me what I listen to. Yes, I know Come on. Right. They put a knob in my car yes, with a whole right. bunch of numbers. Yeah. It, it's up to me whether to listen to it and right. get bored. Yeah. Come on and get depressed. Or turn the knob. I know that's right. Come on. Anywhere I went, I couldn't hear what I wanted to hear. I put on some gospel jazz. I said, oh, I can put on what I want to hear when it can't give me what I want to get. That's the way you're saying. When the devil is giving you something you know ain't good for you, baby, turn the chat. Pastor, I can't turn the The Bible says, over in Corinthians, says, casting down imaginations and any high thing that would exalt itself against. Knowledge or the known will of God. In other words, yeah. turn the channel. Yeah. 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 And the voice <laughs> trumpet listen this is my son, pay attention mm -hmm. yes. to all the words I'm telling you. That's yeah. good. Lean in closer. That's real good. So you may hear all I say. Come on now. Come on now. Anybody hate it when your child, you're talking to him. And they look all up in the sky. Oh, yes. I mean, you talk and say, Look, Johnny, I'm trying to tell you now. And you're like, Man, they someplace else. Their body healing me, but your mind is. Oh, yeah. And you're like, I'm talking to you. They go, I hear you. I hear you. Apparently, you don't see. But my kids, I, and y'all call me, you know, I don't know they grown now. But I would give my children an instruction. And if they didn't follow the instruction, the first thing I would do when I gave it to them, I says, did you hear what I said? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They said, yeah. Never and so I would say, tell me <laughs> what I said. Come on now, I know that's right. So they are possible. Ask Ann one of them. And I said Ann. <laughs> That's right. I said, and I won. I said, tell me what I said. Because you could have heard what I said, misinterpreted what I said, and do the opposite of what I said. But when you can repeat what I said and know what I said, I can expect you to do. God said, when you get in my word and you read my word, if you don't understand it, God said, I got commentaries. I have other ways you can hear what I said and find out what my will is for your life. Yeah. Once you get it and it get inside of you, yeah. and if you do the opposite of what I said, you're telling me I ain't gonna do what you said. All right. All right. And y'all, many of us yeah. fall prey. It's not obeying the word of God. Yeah. Come on, say, Lord, Lord. Help, me help me obey what I hear. What I hear. Come on, and say, Lord, Lord. Help, me obey help me obey the word that I hear. Come on, say, Lord, Lord, help me obey the word that I hear. See, y'all, in our text, Eve gave the serpent, watch this now, her undivided attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much, too much. <laughs> he challenged her uh -huh. on what she thought she knew. All right. Give me Genesis here. Chapter 3. What's the number? When you see this. He began to challenge her on what she thought she knew what God said. Uh -huh. And it's amazing she knew what God says, but when she reported to the serpent what God says, she misquoted what God said. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit uh -huh. of the tree of the garden, but watch this, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Uh, now watch this. She had all other right but the middle. Uh, all right. Uh, 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 God never said, don't touch it. No, he didn't. Uh, no, he didn't. But watch this. What amazes me that 
Y'all, she had the whole garden to choose from. Uh-huh. I know that's right. Y'all know, Mr. Yeah. See, if y'all heard me on Friday, understand, the devil is always out to play in your garden. Yeah. In Genesis, he tempted Adam and Eve, and they fell in the garden. garden. In Matthew, he came again to Jesus to get him to fall in the garden. Which y'all read the Bible. Oh, yes. And watch it now, he was tempted to quit yeah. in the garden. Uh-huh. So Pastor, no, he didn't read the Bible. Yeah. Jesus said, Father, if it be possible, yeah. let this bitter cup pass from me. Yeah. He said, I know what I came to do, but my flesh uh-huh. don't want to do it. Now watch it now, that's how your flesh is. Yeah. Right. I know what God said, but I don't want to do it. Yeah. Now don't lie, because listen, none of us want to do everything God said. Amen. Amen. Okay, I got to, got, to, got, to, got to prove that. Watch this. God said, love your enemy. You better drop it, Pastor. <laughs> My Lord. And do good. Do good to them that despitefully use you. Come on. And so we don't always want to do what God says because doing what God says don't always feel good. But what is when I do what God says, there is something in my life that will produce in my life that will take my life to a whole new level if I simply do what God says do. Even James said, be doers of the word, not just hearers only, just saving myself. In other words, maybe it don't feel good. Maybe do it anyway. Maybe I don't want to do it, but do it anyway. Maybe it make me cry, but do it anyway. Maybe I'm afraid, but Is it? I'm almost done. Thank you, Lord. God is not responsible if you and I don't plant the right seeds in our hearts. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. Amen. God is not responsible if you and I don't plant the right seeds in our hearts. Yeah. Would you tell a person I say God is responsible? God is responsible. Come on, get my name, put them say, don't blame God. Come on, take don't, don't blame God. Don't blame God. We often blame God for something we did not do. Come on now. Come on. I wish I could blame God for the weight I gained. Ooh, we. Jesus. My Lord. Come on. When my skinny jeans don't fit them up, I wish I could blame God. God, it's your fault. Oh, no. Come on. But we can't blame God for seeds we didn't plant. Yeah, all right. See, what's your Africa is the most wealthiest nation in the world. All right. Yet there are more folks in Africa who are starving. Yes, yes, yes. Pastor, now how can they be wealthy and poor at the same time? Because somebody else is holding the seed. Come on, Pastor. Because if God told the earth to produce, if somebody give up the seed, then the, the earth in Africa will produce and you will eliminate all starvation in Africa. But because someone else holds the seed, babies die, adults die of starvation because somebody else controls the seed. But in America, you control the seed. You control what plants in your heart. You can't blame God because you still broke. Baby, if you want to get money, plant a seed. Watch this. Go to Deuteronomy uh, 30. Mm-hmm. Look at verse 19. Come on, you got to chuck. What oh, are you fast today? Look at that. <laughs> Watch this. It said, I call heaven and earth to record this day. Watch it now against you. Yeah. Uh-huh. God said, I am calling the whole heavens uh-huh. and the whole earth against you this day. Yes. God said that I have set before you. Yes, I have. God said, you ain't got no excuse. God said, I'm the one who set before you, watch this now, life and death, blessings and cursings. He said, since you ain't that smart. All right. Come on now. He said, therefore, choose life. That that both thou and thy seed may live. All living people, the LDS translation, God says, you ain't got no excuse. 
Everything you need and receive for your life that you need, I've already given it to you. If you don't believe me, ask the creation. Ask creation everything you need that pertains to life and godliness. God said, I'm giving you all that you need. He said, I put it in front of you. If you get bad, you chose bad. All right. Ooh, ask the person I say, what are you choosing? What are you choosing? What are you choosing? See, but still, I'm going to tell you something. I'm something. See, from experience, I know that, that God, who is love, yeah. God never chooses bad things for us. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. He says to give you an expected end. Jeremiah yeah. 29 11. God says, I know the thoughts I think towards you. Yeah. God says, I think good thoughts towards you. Yes, yes, yes. So if God then thinks good thoughts toward us, uh -huh. how can a God who thinks good toward me give me bad stuff? Right. He said, if you being mere men know how to give your kids good gifts, how much more than the Heavenly Father know how to freely give you all things richly to enjoy? God said, I know what to give you. The question is, do you know what seed to receive? All right. Uh, look at Romans 12, 2. Watch this. Romans 12, verse 2. The Bible says, and be not conformed. Don't be fashioned. Come on. Don't be shaped by. What's this now? This world's system. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Now I'm gonna park it for a second. Isn't it amazing mm -hmm. that the world's system has more influence on how we live than the kingdom system? My Lord, my Lord. Now I ain't judging you. I'm a fruit inspector. That's all. I'm part of the FDA. That's all. I got a job. All right. I got work to do. I got a job, baby. I got work to do. Come on, same girl. Right. That's the month only four of them But watch this. Bible says to not allow. This world system Come on. to have a dominant influence on how we think. Come on now. Come on now. Don't allow the world system to override in your mind yes. what I am trying to plant in your mind. Yes. See, a virus cannot get on my computer if I don't take it to the wrong site. All right. All right. All right. All right. Viruses don't just jump on computers. Mama Dino, they don't just jump on computers. They come because I made a decision. And it was my decision that brought the virus. You want to blame God for the hell in your life, and God says the reason it came is because of your decision. All right. Somebody in the town said, say, 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 please, you don't drink? Say, no. You don't smoke? No. And Pastor, why? You scared to drink? No. I'm sure they can get me feeling good and buzzy. I'm sure I'll be feeling kind of tipsy tappy tappy. Come on, I'm sure I feel good. Come on, well, I'm 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 a drink 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 is that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, no, I got no, I was sparkling. I couldn't find a hand. I couldn't find a hand no place. Come on, all my weeds, come on, okay, okay, all my exes, come on, all my exes, come on, all my exes. Y'all still out in the church, come on. See, watch this. Ella Green, in my family, my father used to drink. He was my hero before I fired. I watched what alcohol did to him. All right, all right, Pat. All right. A master carpenter. Mm. Strong guy. Uh -huh. But I watched alcohol take his life from being on the mountaintop mm -hmm. to that Alice's five days a week. All right. Mm. For 21 years he suffered. Mm. All right. Mm. And it's not that I don't know how getting drunk feels. Mm. But if getting drunk took him down. What made you think it won't take me down? And you think just because he died, that demon is not in the family? I told my sons, whatever you do, don't let nobody talk to you in the drinking. Because it's a demon from Pentecostal. Listen, people die, demons don't die. They leave you 
and go to your children, your grandchildren, and I will tell them all, whatever you do, don't let that demon back in the family. He'll tell you you'll bust your liver. It's all swollen. He'll tell you your kidney going to explode one day. And kill you tied to a machine. Yeah. Get no blood pump every for four hours. Yeah. See, it feels see, listen, sin y'all feels good. Yeah. I'm telling you, sin feels good. Yeah. Woo! Memo, sin, sin feels good. Yeah. Until it brings a harvest. Yeah. 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 See, nobody asks for AIDS. They got it because. Oh, my Lord. Lord. Come on, AIDS didn't grow on trees. No, no, no. Somebody planted a seed. Yeah. Listen, McKinley is coming not because he said, I want a baby. I want a baby. Please, Lord, let it go. Somebody planted a seed. That is I'm saying what I'm saying. says to not be conformed, don't be fashioned, don't be shaped, don't be mauled by what the world says. Yeah. I know what the world is telling you because I'm in the world with you. Yeah. But whatever we give attention to will change how we think. Yeah. Yeah. The devil don't care who he uses, baby. Yeah. Come on, he'll make somebody get close to you and be your best friend. Yeah. But you can't say you're my friend if you're influencing my life to destroy my own world. All right, now. I know that's right. Amen. He says, but be transformed. Yeah. Yeah. Which means then God says, choose a different system. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The only way to embrace transformation is to bring in another program. Right. All right, all right. Yes. My kids often bash me by my phone calling. They say, let the Android go. Mm. Why they tell me that? <laughs> I want to know. But see, what they forgot is, that every time their iPhone did an update, my Android gets one too. Right. Okay. Oh, all right. Come on, Pastor. Yes. Right. And for what I'm going to do with it, it does what that, that right. phone does. All right. Amen. It calls. It receives, it texts, but mine takes better pictures. All right, all right, all right, all right. sometimes. Really. I've one person over there in denial, but I don't care. I've seen her pictures, I've seen mine, and mine are better than me. I was going to take a look. But God says, be transformed. In other words, He said, I know how you've been programmed. He said, but be transformed. Transform. By the renewing, watch this now, of your mind. Now, y'all, watch this. See, you are saying, God changed me. God said, I can't change you. You embrace change. That's right. See, I, I told God that I'm going to live as long as I can. But the moment I can't change my own clothes, walk my own body, do for myself, God, get me out of here. Yes, sir. I don't want to ever be a burden to my kids and grandkids. God, take me on. I'm good. I'm ready. Yeah. Come on. I'm saved. All I right. want to have it. All right. All right. But watch this. God does not renew our mind for us. No, no. no you have to. He said, if you want to get your mind changed, if you want to think like me and take on my mind, you must be embraced what I've already said. That's, That's it. it. That's, That's it. it. And watch this now. Give me something so so good. I, I, I feel this thing, and I want to keep on going on and on and on. I had good sleep last night. All right. I did. I was like all night, too. God says, be transformed. Here's your job. By the renewing. By the renewing. By the renewing of your mind. Let me bring that to you to understand it. My granddaughter, you're in second grade, right? Third grade, bless your heart, child. So look, get me on the bridge. But watch this. Next year, she got to embrace what she learned this year. And then watch this, embrace new information next year. Amen. Because while what she learned this year has to 
to help her advance when she gets to the eighth grade. Oh, yes. Amen. Well, I'll put it to you. How many of y'all, when you were in school, you learned social studies? How many of y'all hated it? How many of y'all remember, remember it now? One, two, three. And some of y'all learned.
And the Bible teaches that, that when God judges you, guess what? I'll be that too. All right. All right, God. I told him. I told him. God. I told him. All right, come on. I won't get. I won't tell on you, God. I told him. They knew.
Say, Lord, speak to me. Yes, Lord. Yes. Show me what you want to, what you want me to see in the scripture. And Christ, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will hear the voice of God like you've never heard before. I promise you, you will hear the voice of God like you've never heard before. Because when you get in God's word, God's word will get inside of you. Yes, it will. And listen, I ain't gotta preach I ain't gotta preach change to you. Because to be told, we, we, we all know, we all know when we do wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know when I do wrong. Pastor, right. that's my conscience. No, baby, that's the spirit of God in you. You think God gonna make, make a man he can't talk to? No, I gotta stop. Let's pray. Father of heaven. Father, as always, it is our sincere prayer that today's word has pricked our hearts. Yes. And the seeing of the word has caused us to think. Yes, Jesus. Now, God, let the word be planted in our hearts. Yes, God. And God, based on what you say, let it produce in our lives. 30, 60, 100, 40. We thank you. Thank you. And we bless your name. In Jesus' name. Listen, hit my hand and close. If you're here or watching us by stream, whether it's, it's Facebook, Periscope, or Instagram, if you're here and you don't know Jesus as your Savior, hit my hand and close. Say, Pastor, I want to be saved. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I come before you now asking you to forgive me of every sin. Wash me, cleanse me by your power. says you are now born again. I encourage you if you're in a different city to go to your local church and uh, be joined to a church, to a pastor who is teaching the word of God and allow God to feed you, your spirit be fed, that you can grow by the word of God. God bless you. We love you. Let me come on. Give God a hand. Praise me.